So you want to do well. You want to kick ass in medical school. You want to have the top grades. To have that, you can do it. But you have to make sacrifices. I think sacrifices that a lot of people are not prepared to make. And that's why they don't do well. That's why medical school is hard. You have to learn how to make sacrifices. The students who I knew who made tremendous sacrifices did very well. I made big sacrifices. I did very well. You have to think about the things that are the most important to you. Keep those in your life. And you have to kind of let go of the things that are not going to bring you success that you're wasting time on. So I'm going to break it down. So you have a 24-hour day. You have to sleep. I had to sleep eight hours. And I suggest that you sleep eight hours at least. I mean, you could do seven. You could do six. But for the amount of work that we have and how many days in a row that you have to kick butt, and there are days where you're going to lack sleep continuously, and you'll see your performance decline, I would say shoot for eight. Don't mess around with sleep. Because <laughs> um, that's where you're condensing all the information is when you sleep. So you got to sleep. Eight hours. Then you got two hours of lecture. Okay, two hours gone. So 10 hours already out of the 24 hour day. Then uh, for me, it took me about three and a half hours to um, post read, uh, kind of comb through all the information. That was me. Reviewing, going through all of it, making sure that I understood every three and a half hours for each lecture. So that's seven hours. Then you have to review old material. And I did that through Anki. And if you've seen one of my other videos, I actually used lecture time to actually do my Anki. But outside of that, I would also do an extra three hours. So I'm doing three hours plus the two if you go to lecture. So, but three hours of Anki. Like either middle of the day, whenever, whenever I could do it. So that's 20 hours of my day. You got it. Eight hours sleep, two hours actually going to lecture. I use that time to do my Anki cards, but you know, if it works for you, you can go to actual lecture. Uh, then I would do, uh, then I would actually watch the lecture and it would take me three and a half hours to go through an hour long lecture and actually con condense it and like consume it. So seven hours for those two lectures. Then another three hours of Anki because I had some review from old stuff, even more stuff. So I'm technically doing five hours, but that's confusing. It is. <laughs> so after all the work that I had to do, I only had four hours left. You may have a little bit more time than I had, but I really wanted to understand everything that I could to the fullest. I don't like the idea of missing out on information um, that puts gaps that will compound on each other as time progresses. So make sure you cover everything and it'll take time to cover everything. So you have four hours. So the average American spends five hours on their phone. Five hours on their phone. They're, people are addicted to their phones. I'm addicted. Probably everybody's addicted. I mean, it's, it's just, it's addicting. The sacrifice you're going to have to make is usually, I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell you, the people who did poorly, they were addicted to their phones. S simple. Addicted to their phones. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. <laughs> the technology is what slowed people down. It separated people from A's to C's. It was incredible. The people who were committed to doing well and were willing to make the sacrifice of the addicting things did very well. I had, I, there was a friend of mine who was in school who, who tried to play video games. He realized very quickly that he had to give that up because it's that's another addicting thing. Alcohol drinking. That's a huge one. You have to give up certain things in your life that, that you enjoyed. Alcohol, video games, Facebook, Insta. You cannot do well spending your time on those things because those things are, in reality too, they're not, 
you know, they're fun. Um, and, and sure, like, okay, so I had four hours. So I would do a little bit of those things, not drink. I did give up drinking. But, um, you know, I would go on, do some look at technology, you know, using apps. Mindless scrolling for a little while. But you really have to limit yourself on that stuff. For me, I would delete all those things in the school year. Honestly. Honestly, I would delete Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter. I even had to delete my news app because I was I, I was addicted to news too. I would scroll anything that you can scroll and that would continually give you information. I think those are the worst ones because you can you can get stuck and lose a ton of time really quickly, and you have so much work that you have to do. Um. And the days that I was my least productive was because I was messing around because I had just, it, 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 it makes things horrible. It makes things horrible. If you, if you spend too much time on those electronics, then you have all this work to do. Your anxiety goes way high and then you know what people do? They get on their electronics because they have high anxiety and they don't want to do it. It's just like a repetitive cycle. So what I'm trying to say is you have to get rid of addicting things in your life that are gonna slow your productivity down. Productivity, I said that weird. <laughs> but you have to get rid of those things. I hope this helps. I hope you can take my advice. Because if you do, you're gonna do really well. You're gonna do, you're gonna kill it. You're gonna kill it in medical school. If you can give up those things. All right, thanks for watching.